on everybody dj go ham here welcome back to the channel let's find some news man today we're going to talk about an update the farming simulator did not get plus we have 13 modders to talk about plus course plays out let's check it out yesterday giant software released a feature at showcasing the brand chronic game however this video sparked some confusion amongst players the title reads the grown product portfolio in fs22 just got bigger with a free content update this is referring to the update that was released a few weeks ago. Not a new update, just released like yesterday. I agree, the wording could have been much better, and it's a little odd to do a showcase video like this way past when the update was released, but it's just meant to be a fun showcase video of the brand. I love Carlton, so I thought this video was super cool. Either way, nothing to worry about here, and there's no surprise update to the game. Pepe978 is back with a highly requested mod for Farming Simulator 19, the John Deere 50G Mini Excavator. He says that that it will be here soon for all platforms. That's great news. It also says that a shovel for doing stones will be included with the pack. Hopefully the entire shovel pack is included with this and not just something separate that needs to be downloaded in addition to the main pack. This was a huge point of controversy in FS19 and I know a lot of modders were really irritated about this. So I don't think any players wanna have to download extra packs just to get more buckets. Either way, keep an out for this one coming soon. Zid Modding is already working on an update to his John Deere X9 Combine Harvester, which will include some changes to the brakes, making them a little bit better and they were quite off the pace of the base game machinery and also an issue with the fill volume in the tank, which caused the crop inside show outside the combine on certain configurations. He's also changed the capacity of the Demco Mara from the 27,400 liter to 19,100 liters, in addition to adding another long pipe option for the foldable spout on the end. It was unclear if the update is with Giants yet or not, but they don't come back into the office until next week anyway, so maybe some time before we see this. White Bull Modding have announced that their Massey Ferguson 356 loader pack will be returning from FS19 for players to use in FS22. This was a machine built around skid steer attachments, so that's not only where you're going to find the bucket and the pallet fork, we do have a wait for this. Of course, that's not going to be found in skid steers. you also find the vehicle itself in skid steers too. We did see this in FS17, so it's been around for a while. This was for all platforms then. Basically everything in the news videos are for all platforms anyway, unless I otherwise mention it. Don't forget, no release dates for mods either. Here's a mod that we originally just showed off at the beginning of this week. The Massey Ferguson 296299 from JA. A modding. Here you can see that it's going to be getting a proper upgrade from the 19 version, a closed cabin. This was a feature that I know was requested, so if you do prefer a closed cabin to an open one, JA's got you covered, literally. Another classic tractor coming back is the Valmont 880-980 series from Servertex. Well, when I say it's coming back, it's back in the modding process. This was a mod that we talked about months ago, but it was canceled due to some issues with his computer. That was back at the end of October, but it is coming back. It's gonna be better than ever in 22. Something else coming back for PC players is the South Star Harvesting Head from FDR Logging, shown here attached to their John Deere 909. Now, I'm not a big logger, I think you guys know that, so I don't really know a whole lot about this mod or the attachment in real life, but you can find all the information that you need if you're interested in the FDR logging website. I'll make sure to link that below. Hispano Modding is working on something really neat for all platforms. They're working on the Tandem 10S Waters 18T Tipper Trailer with the auger attachment. A lot of T's there. This is going to work just like any tipper or auger wagon. It will probably work perfectly as a seed tender as well. Since it's a tipper, it will also likely hold lime, which is a huge problem with the seed tender that we've got right now. No lime. Oh yeah, and Hispano Mining is also looking for a mod tester. So if you got what it takes, comment on his latest post on Facebook. I have all that link below. Let's keep this video rolling with a segue to a roller mod by Mioto Modding. The Katrina Knife Roll. This appears to be done. They say they're just waiting for Giants to come back from break. If you're unaware, some people from Giants will be returning on Monday, January the 3rd, but everyone will be back in the office on Monday, January the 10th. So mods could come back next week, but likely they're not going to ramp back up fully until the 10th. So just a heads up there. And heads up more rollers from Dutch Inc. This time we have the Kelly Mac Equalizer, which is around three or four meters wide. It goes on the front of your tractor, meaning you can get some extra field prep done while seeding or fertilizing whatever you want to do on the back. I'm all for stuff like this. I don't care how big it is because it means that you can make one pass versus two. 
that's always a plus. 4D Mining has been very busy over the past few days as work is progressing on their Heston Baylor. They've got new normal maps, textures completed, with a few things left to go before it's done. Currently, the mod does not have the add-on straw capability, but they say they will add that if that mod comes back. However, it does include the additive applicator for FS22, so that's pretty sweet. They currently don't have any platform information since it's a little bit too early in the process. They're just focused on making this as good as it can be, rather than limiting themselves, which is good for the game, but not always good for console players. Either way, I'll keep you guys updated. Omatana, aka Gamer Granny, has been very busy since the release of Farming Simulator 22 and has some goodies to show us today. As you can see from this screenshot, as of Thursday last week, her Silos Multifruit and Hobo Farmhouse Pack are both in console testing, meaning we could see these pretty early next week at the earliest. Additionally, her Trailer Farm Buildings Pack, Water Pack, and the French Farm Buildings Pack are all waiting to be tested and have been for a couple weeks at this point. She does have some videos, pics, and showcases of all of these mods and more over on her website. I'm gonna link that below if you guys wanna check it out. If that's not enough placeables for you, Ada Modding is rocking with the Pack 12 Sheds Metal mod from FS19. Should have a better name for that. Ada, hit me up, I'll help you out. This was also a shed pack in FS17 by Black Sheep Modding, if you guys remember playing it then. Adub and his team have been given permissions to use the pack and will be bringing it back FS22 for players to use. These screenshots are from the 19 version, you guys probably picked up on that, but the FS22 version will look very, very similar. I've said it before and I'll say it again, we need more sheds right now. People need more stuff to build their farms. Something I thought I would never say, yet yeah, here we are. FSH Modding also wants to bring you something for your farm, a residential house, which they say is finished and ready for testing. They've got it here on the American map, but I think it would look way better on the French map or the Swiss map. However, you can use it on any area that you wish. It's also got a garage, but they don't show it open, so I wonder if we're actually able to use this or not. And lastly today, something that I did not think that I would ever talk about, mainly because I don't know anything about it. It's course play for Farms M22. Not a word I'm sure you were ready to hear. You may know or you may not know, but course play is out now for Farming Simulator 22 on PC. And Bruno over at Universe Sim did a great write up on it. As I'm sure is a shock to no one, I have not downloaded this or used it. It's just not a mod that I'm interested in. However, I will not ignore the fact that this is one of the most popular PC mods for Farming Simulator in the history of the game. Therefore, I wanted to let you know that it is out now and getting updates regularly. Check out Bruno's article on it, link below. There's also a link in that article where you can download it. And check out this smooth segue to the outro. No bumps, just smooth sailing. Oh yeah, just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today's news video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. If it did, make sure you drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With that said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. be a little MIA for the next 48 hours. Tomorrow's my birthday and I'm not making videos.